Hi boys and girls. I hope you've had a great week and I'm very excited to show you how to make something called an accordion book. This project you are going to need some different materials. You'll need some scissors and some glue or tape. You'll need a piece of paper, preferably something a little bit thicker. This is just a regular copy paper but if you can get your hands on something like construction paper or even like a card stock or poster board, that would be even better. And the bigger paper you can find, the better. So I'm going to show you how to make an accordion book without the big piece of paper. But I think you're going to be able to do it with this no problem with just a regular old piece of paper. Okay. The first thing you're going to do is fold your paper down in half like a hot dog. Try to get your edges lined up, hold it steady, and fold it. Make a nice fold, okay? So you have a hot dog, nice long hot dog. Open it up, and you're going to cut this so that it's into two equal pieces, okay? That's going to make it so we have one long piece of paper. So go ahead and cut that right on the line. Once you get it cut into two pieces, you're going to attach them end to end. So you're going to turn them like this to make one long piece of paper, okay? And that's what the glue or the tape is for. It's going to create a connection so that they become one long piece, okay? Now, if you have glue, make sure to be nice to your glue. A little skinny line of glue is fine, like that. Super thin, okay? Because you don't want it to get all over this, okay? Just overlap your two pieces a tiny bit. And that's going to create one connection to create one nice long piece of paper. If your paper is not exactly the same size, don't panic. It'll still work. The main thing was to have this be one nice long piece of paper like that. Okay? So once you get your long piece of paper, you're going to bring the two ends together. You really want to maybe wait a minute or two so that the glue can dry here. But it should fold pretty well once you let it dry, okay? So fold, that's gonna give you the center of your accordion book, okay? And then open it up. You have one crease, you see that? There's your first crease, both sides are equal. You're gonna take the first side over here and bring this end to that folded part right in the middle and line them up and fold this side down. Make sure you give it a nice, good crease with your finger, okay? Open it up and do it on the other side. Line it up right with that center crease that we made where we folded it and fold this side. Okay. What that's going to give you are three folds. And if you flip it over, those three folds are going to create what look like mountain peaks. You'll have one, two, three mountain peaks. Can you see my mountains? There they are. Now, after you get your three mountains, then you're going to need to create the accordion piece by flipping this back over. This time, you're going to bring this piece into the middle of your accordion here, just like that. And then you're going to do the same thing all the way over here on the other side, just like that. Okay. And then... This part's a little bit tricky. You're gonna to wanna to bring this part here. See, this is still folded, you see that? You bring this part down over to this, just like that, right? Flattening it there. And then you're gonna do the same thing, flip it over, and it's gonna bend like this. Do you see that? There it goes, okay? So line up your edges as best you can. And the last part is to take out your top. This is kind of like the top of your stack and the bottom of your stack. And you're going to take this last piece out. Just flip it over and do that on the back as well. See, Just flip it over. All right. So now you have, when you open it up, grab both ends, you will have an accordion. Just like in Lady and the Tramp, if you've ever seen that movie. This is the night. Just kidding. If you stand it up, it has all these ins and outs. It looks like a zigzag. Three mountains. This accordion book has been being made. One of the first books ever made. 
in the Chinese and Japanese cultures. China made it first, became even more famous in Japan. And you can go to art museums and historical museums and find ancient books just like this. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Now, after you make your accordion, I want you to think about what your story is going to be about. Accordion books can be on both sides. You can stamp it, you can paint it, you can collage it, you can draw on it. And it's going to tell a story using pictures. You don't have to write any words on this accordion book. If you have a piece of string or yarn, you could glue or punch a hole and tie it shut. If you glue it, only glue on the front and the back. Don't glue on the inside, okay? And I actually decided I would do a collage for my accordion book. And I went through a magazine and I cut out some different things. I cut a caterpillar. As you see, isn't it beautiful? I cut out... A monarch butterfly. Ooh. I was thinking spring. It just makes me so happy to think that all these little flowers are growing and spring is here and we're outside and the weather's warmer. So my accordion book is going to tell a story about the springtime. So when I go to put my pictures in, I might have to flatten my accordion book to work on different sections and that's okay. And then when I'm all done, leave it open so it can dry. And then when I'm completely finished, it's all dry, I can close my accordion book and keep it in a safe place, okay? So accordion books, again, are just a special way to tell the story. And it made it easier than flipping through pages. Somebody in ancient times would make an accordion book and they'd open it up and there you go, there's the whole story. And when they're done, they just push it back together, put it in their pocket and go on their merry way. So I can't wait to see your accordion books. Please send me pictures. I'd love to see them and have a great time making them. Bye.